the main dish that we came here to eat is called huevos motoleños. Oh, the yolk. Look at that. The yolk is spilling. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up with my... Carlos, huevos motoleños. Huevos motoleños. It's a harmony of wonderful flavor. Oh, it just sprayed. Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Merida, which is the capital and the largest city of the Yucatan state of Mexico. This is a beautiful colonial city. Today, we're just gonna walk around, we're gonna explore, we're gonna eat some incredibly delicious food, we're gonna visit some, some sites, go to some heritage locations, and just fully explore Merida, and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video. Ying and Mike are here, and we're also here with my buddy Carlos and his wife and their baby as well, so it's gonna be all of us exploring today. There's two places that we want to check out for breakfast this morning. The first is a place in the market, and then after that we'll go to a restaurant for a different breakfast. There is a lot of amazing looking food immediately, but we're looking for a place called La Lupita. This place is absolutely amazing. It's all market dining there, stalls. Uh, we found the place, it's called La Lupita, and it's right next to, they're selling fresh meat, they're selling fresh vegetables here, so all the ingredients are quality, are fresh. Most of the dishes they have here are all Yucatan specialties, including a dish that I really wanna try, which is called relleno negro. And we also got some conchinita pibil, which is also a very well-known Yucatan dish. And, yeah, oh, this is a great dining environment. ¿Qué es esto? Tacos de conchinita pibil. I'm gonna first grab one of the tacos de conchinita pibil. And these are little wrapped, they've wrapped them all the way up. I'll just open it to see what's inside and then we can also add some salsa in there as well. Okay. Okay, Rico. Adios, adios. Que te vaya bien. This taco is absolutely awesome. The, the pork is just fall apart tender. Uh, very flavorful, very juicy. And then that salsa. That salsa, it actually has a like a vinegary taste to it, which is very sour, which I wasn't expecting, but I love. It's so juicy. Another dish that I was very excited to try is called relleno negro, which is a black chili stew. So they blacken, they actually burn the chilies, they blacken them, they mix it with the spices, um, and then it's usually with turkey. So this is, there's some big chunks of turkey and an egg in there. That's the guy. It's like a, it's like, it's kind of mild in flavor, but it's really good. It's a really harmonious blend of ingredients. You can taste kind of the roasted, blackened flavor of it. Um, it's not spicy. I think you can add your own chilies. And then that turkey is just fall apart tender. It's juicy. Mm -hmm. It's really an exquisite blend of ingredients. Okay, for my next bite, I don't know if you can see up really close, but there's a little bit of sausage in here and well as egg. And the waiter told us we're supposed to eat it all together with a pavo negro. Get a little bit of all of that in one bite and then stick this into my tortilla with all that. Oh, that habanero is gonna make it awesome. Let me add a little bit more of that sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those chilies are not that hot. That's a great combination, though. And you got that black chili. Those black chilies. That's a. It's it's mild, 
but flavorful at the same time. Okay, another specialty in Yucatan is panuchos. They're almost like tacos, but it's a totally different shell. So it's a tortilla, it's like a corn tortilla, but it's stuffed on the inside. So you can see those layers and you can see what's underneath it. I'm not totally sure what's underneath it. And then it's topped with a bunch of meat. Um, and there are some onions on there as well, and then it's all kind of fried and kind of greasy. It looks amazing. It is um, filled with beans, and then I think the whole thing is deep fried because it's all crispy, but you can see that there's a very thin layer of black beans in there. The meat inside is called pavo escabeche, and it's, so I think it's, it's turkey, and then fried with some, and also topped with some sauteed onions. Wow. Oh, that's incredible. The shell is crispy. And then you've got that thin layer of like, it's like salty black beans on the inside and then it's fried and kind of greasy. The meat, the turkey is really fall apart tender. And those onions are incredibly sweet. Oh, that's insanely good. But I'm just gonna give it a little squeeze of lime and maybe add on a little bit of salsa for my next bite. And this salsa is actually quite spicy. I'm loving it. Mm. This is the best thing. Okay, and then the final dish that we got is called motongo. And it's similar to menudo. There are some organ meats, and it came the organ meats on top of the bowl. And then you just toss it into the hot soup below. And so it's already been mixed. And we added, what did we add? We added some green, chopped green onions, a little bit of lime in here. And normally you would eat this on your own, but we're all just kind of sharing it. You can see the big chunks. Oh, that looks like a, a worthy chunk right there. And this looks like a piece of the stomach. You can see that, that padding area. Oh, I love it. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit chewy, but Really good flavor. Um, maybe a little bit tomatoey, a little bit salty. You get the crunch of those green onions, and yeah, just those those pads of stomach. I like that. We ate a little more than we had anticipated here at La Lupita, but the food was so incredibly good, we couldn't resist. Everything was, was top notch, everything was delicious. Everything was kind of new to me as well, but I think my favorite thing was the panucho. That, that is, it's absolutely delicious. The, the turkey just melts in your mouth. You've got that crunchy, oily wrapper filled with beans. That gives it a different twist. You gotta try that, it's, it's amazing. Hola, gracias. We're walking next to the next breakfast number two spot, uh, but this is gonna be more of like a sit down cafe style breakfast. There's one breakfast dish that I wanted to try there, uh, but some coffee also sounds incredible right about now. Is this it? Yep. Nice canela, you see one. The place is called Maiz, Canela y Cilantro. It's so nice and friendly. They're doing all the cooking. It's, a, it's just a family-run restaurant. So yeah, this is just a family kitchen and they're, they're cooking this whole cafe. <laughs> I can't wait for the huevos motuleños. This is a dish I'm really looking forward to trying. This is a really nice place to relax and sit and just, yeah, to have coffee and food. Oh, that's a good coffee. Mm. Well, this is perfect. Gracias. The main dish that we came here to eat is called huevos motuleños. And Motul is a city, it's, it's not too far away from Merida. 
uh, but they're famous for this dish. They invented this dish. Uh, there's tostadas on the bottom, then a couple of fried eggs on top, then tomato sauce, and then it's sprinkled with diced up pieces of ham and cheese, and then there's some bananas and platano on the side as well. Let me break into the egg. Yeah, you can feel how crunchy it is, so you can... Oh, the yolk! Look at that, the yolk is spilling. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Oh, there's frijoles too on the bottom. There's beans, ref uh, looks like refried beans on the bottom. Oh, and there's peas in here too. Okay, I'm just gonna pick this up with my fingers, sort of. Carlos, huevos motoleños. Huevos motoleños. Oh, that's amazing. The eggs are cooked perfectly, so you got the runny yolk. It's so creamy, it's so rich. Then you've got the crunchy tostada on the bottom. You've got the light tomato sauce. You've got the ham and cheese. It's a harmony of wonderful flavor. Let me try this habanero. Oh, it just sprayed. Mm. Not too spicy, but really good flavor. Yeah, you know, you can tell that's a habanero. Oh, it's good. And a little habanero juice shot up my nose. Guardo otra vez la silla. She wants to be in the camera too. That's why right. she told me. Mm. Mm. The patinos are delicious too. Oh, that habanero, man. Yeah, that habanero. When you get to the seeds, when you get to the seeds in that habanero, oh, wow, it goes up into your head. That feels awesome. Yeah, that that's a little bit spicy. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, he's never, yeah. Come on, buddy. 300. 300. Okay, bye-bye. Muchas gracias. It's a charming place, really friendly. Uh, really good food. Those huevos motuleños. That was delicious. And also the coffee was fantastic. Micah and Armando loved walking around that courtyard. And yeah, they're so friendly there as well. And from here, we're walking. It's not too far of a walk to Centro, which is the central area of Merida. We're on our way to Centro, but we're doing a little shopping. We're looking at the clothes. We're thinking about buying this shirt or that shirt for Micah. I'll let you know what decision we make. We decided to go with the blue. Micah chose it himself. That looks extremely comfortable. I, I do sort of want one too. Walked over to Plaza Grande. This is the centro, the center of Merida. But walking through the streets is so beautiful here. The colors, the history, the well-preserved colonial architecture. It's, it's a charming place. And yeah, right to my left-hand side, this is the Catedral de Merida. And then you have Plaza Grande over here, which is just an open public space where people are hanging out and relaxing and just enjoying the beautiful weather and the culture here. This is, this is fantastic. I feel, I feel great. We're thinking about taking a horse ride in the horse carriage because it's it's perfect. It's nice. It's this is a perfect environment just to stroll around. We've got two boys and they want to ride the horses. So okay, let's take it. Carlos. Now we're passing through the Paseo de Montejo, which is a historic street in Merida. We made it back to Plaza Grande. That was about a 45 minute ride and it cost 300 pesos for all four of us. Uh, that was well worth it. It was a great way to roll around and see Merida. They have these chairs that are facing each other. They're a little, a little too romantic, <laughs> but, but great for having a conversation. Thank you. 
Mangos. Mangos. Green mango. Green mango. ¿Cuánto, cuánto cuesta? ¿Cuál es? 15. 15. Gracias. We're walking towards Mercado Lucas de Galvez and we're getting there but stopped to have a quick mango. This is a green mango and I think there's a bunch of chili and probably maybe some salt and sugar in there as well. Mm. <coughs> oh yeah. It's salty. You can taste the chili on it. Um, maybe a little bit of sugar too. And then the mango itself. Very, very sour and crunchy. Mm. That's delicious. Great snack, but it's so sour. It's the type of sour that will start to start to hurt your teeth if you eat a lot of it. There's lots of toys and flowers, but for sure there's going to be a lot of delicious food here. And that's what we're looking for right now. Ah, ¿qué es eso? Mondongo. Mondongo, oh, ok. Mondongo. Mondongo. Ok. Viste con papa. Viste con papa. Ahí voy a tirar mi aroma. Ah. <laughs> ¿Y sopa, sopa de lima? Eso se prepara. Ah, ok. ¿Van a querer la sopa de lima? Sí, pues. Lo voy a preparar. Ok. Porque hay que hacer las tostaditas, todo lo que lleva. Ah, ok, ok. Okay. We found some stalls at the market, and this is upstairs. They also have a lot of stalls to eat at within the market downstairs, but the, the upstairs is a little quieter and you have a little more space. She looks like an amazing chef. She has all sorts of different dishes. Actually, it's, it's quite a task to figure out what to order, but we got a, a couple of different dishes to try. We got a plate of mole that we're all snacking on. I'm going to try some of that mole. And with chicken drumsticks in here. Kind of a sweet mole, but it is good. It's like a rich chicken. We got another plate of relleno negro, and I guess relleno negro is very, very popular in Merida and throughout Yucatan. They recommended we try it, so I don't mind having another plate of relleno negro for lunch today. Mm. Oh. Oh, that little piece of sausage. Mm. That's amazing. Again, those burnt blackened chilies in there as well. We get, you just got a melon shake and they pack it to go like this in a cup with a plastic bag with that giant air bubble at top, but the straw is still in there. So you can't spill it. That's pretty cool. That is a packaging I haven't seen before. That's zero spill. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, and that air will, oh, you can just leave that air pocket in there. Mm. It's a melon, just blended melon. A dish that I was very excited to try is called Sopa de Lima. And this, it has just arrived. It looks really good. It's a soup. You can see there's some, there's like some tostada shells underneath or maybe some chips. And then there's shreds of chicken on top. There are slices of lime. There's onions. There's slices of tomato and some cilantro sprinkled on top. This is gorgeous. It looks, it looks beautiful. Shreds of chicken. There's some skin in this bite. Some onions. It's really sour, and then those those fried tortillas, they, they've soaked up all of the juice. The main thing that stands out, it's like a really thick chicken soup with all of that, with a really refreshing lime taste to it. This is an all-in-one dish because you've got your fried tortillas in the bottom, and then you've got the soup, then you've got the chicken. Yeah, you, this is an all-in-one dish, so you can just eat it as is, and it's delicious. I love it. This is a, a delicious dish. Okay, we were just talking with the auntie here, and she said 
that there are many different styles of sopa de lima, but she makes a version that her grandmother taught her, which is a traditional version. That's what we're eating. And you could just see how she made it with such love, with such expertise. They do have some salsa that I need to try though. Oh, with the tomato in this bite. Oh. Oh, that salsa is amazing. It's a little bit spicy. It just has wonderful roasted chili smoky flavor to it. It's so good. <laughs> this is the best dish of lunch without a doubt. Just a family run little stall in the market. Uh, yeah, that's just like home cooking. And the best dish for me was definitely that sopa de lima. I absolutely loved it. That's a recipe I wanna, I wanna make again, I wanna have again. Wow, it was so flavorful, so good. We've been walking around this park for a little while and just ultimately relaxing. Micah is taking a nap. Uh, but there's one more dish we wanna try, a Yucatan. Mayan dish and we're trying to search it's kind of it's really actually hard to find in Merida in the town center and so there's one place that I think serves it but we're gonna have to jump in a taxi and we're going there right now That was about a 20 minute taxi ride, we made it. The restaurant is called El Tikin Shik, and they're known for seafood, including a special type of fish dish that I wanted to try, and this is one of the only places that we could find it, so I, I hope it's gonna be good. Uh, it's really in the neighborhood here. It's a residential area, and then it looks like just somebody has opened their home, and they put chairs and tables around the courtyard area. I'm excited. Oh, they... Pescado. Pescado. We're ordering a bunch of seafood, including some ceviche and also the main dish that we want to try, which is called chicken chic. As we're waiting for the food, they brought us some little appetizers. There's some ceviche, there's some kind of shredded something, and some beans. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, Carlos is just telling me this is kawamanta. Um, it's uh, like a type of stingray. Mm, shredded, it's almost like chicken. It's delicious. Really, really tasty. Sea snail ceviche with onions and tomatoes. Mm. Oh. Mm, black pepper flavor in there, fantastic. It's very limey. Very fresh with those onions. We got a fried shrimp with coconut, and then we also got this unique dish of, it's a fish fillet, which is stuffed with a variety of things and then wrapped up into a roll-up. And then it's deep fried, so it's all crispy on the outside, and then we also got a plate of ceviche, so I'm gonna go in with a piece of tostada. Oh, this is just loaded. Look at those shrimp, look at that octopus. Oh yeah, look at that bite. Okay. Mm. Ceviche never gets old for me. Main dish that we came here to eat has just arrived and it's called Tikin Shik. It's a Mayan Yucatan dish. Uh, and you can typically order a full fish made like this, and we would have, but they said it takes an hour to cook and with the kids we don't really have that much time, so we got the fillets and they, it comes in banana leaf, so it's roasted in banana leaf. Let's see what's in this packet. Oh, that puff of steam immediately comes out. Oh, that smells incredible. The roasted flavor. Those banana leaves are charred and steamed below here. Oh, oh, it's so hot and fresh. You can see the fillets of fish down there. The redness, I think, is coming from that achiote, which is a, it's a commonly used Mayan kind of fruit, herb, spice. And then there's a bunch of peppers, onions, and tomatoes on top of it. Oh, it's just baked and steamed inside of here, and it's juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. It's so smoky. The fish is kind of neutral tasting. Has a little bit of a, like, sour, yeah, like sour and smoky. Those are the flavors that I taste. It's delicious. It's really good. He said we could add some of these onions and cilantro to our, our fish as well. I'll try it with some onions. Mm. 
not, not That's just a great solid dish. Next up for the seafood crochet. It's loaded with almost all the different seafoods. It's all the same seafood from the ceviche, just in totally different shape and form. You know where you can afford it. <laughs> mm. It's wrapped in fish, which is deep fried, and then you've got little pieces of squid. And I think that same like sea snail in there, as well as onions. Uh, bye bye. Final dish is the coconut shrimp. They're battered, but even the batter is coconut. And then that's kind of a sweet coconut milk um, dressing. The, the sauce isn't my favorite, it's a little on the sweet side. The actual shrimp are awesome. We just finished with dinner, now waiting for a taxi to go back home. Oh man, it's been, it's been quite a lot of food today. I'm pretty full and it's been a long day, but such a good day. Merida is, it's a beautiful city, it's well preserved, it has so much culture, the people are friendly, the food is awesome. I pretty much enjoyed and loved everything we ate today, but I think probably if I could choose the best things, it would be the panuchos and the sopa de lima. What else, what else did we eat today? Uh, okay, but really everything has been outstanding. Oh, those huevos motuleños was also excellent. Everything was really good. Uh, Merida is an amazing little city to visit and it has so much to offer. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this full tour, food tour and walking around seeing some of the attractions. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below and if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. I'm gonna be publishing lots more food and travel videos. And also click the little bell icon. That way you get notified of future videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye from Merida.